and we're stuck. is nice because now it is a gorgeous day and it is not insanely hot, but it also means maybe, again, we're not going to go get the poles for the electric fence. And we're stuck. Whoops. So I guess we're trying a combination of uh, sticking some nearby logs under the tires and also trying to pry the car out of the mud. I don't think it's going well. I think we're now gently making love to the car to see if it'll move. Oh my God. All right, well, I'm covered in mud. The car's still stuck. We are supposed to go 30 miles like this. I, I don't think it's happening. The last thing the, uh, the head of the department said before we left was, I don't think you'll make it. Call us if you get stuck, we'll just come pull you out. And I think right now it's just the sheer willpower of the driver and all the farmers that they don't want to admit defeat. And I know that feeling very well. So my guess is eventually we get unstuck and uh, they turn around because this probably isn't gonna happen. Or they find our bodies out here picked clean by lions and bears. I guess there's no bears out here. Thank God for that. So it sounds like the differential is what's stuck in the mud. And for those of you who don't know what it means, neither do I. Uh, help has arrived. I think. This is the only real rough spot to drive through, so if the next shot that you see in this video is us stuck in the mud, you know what happened. So we're on our way back. We went out there, turns out the roads, they're, uh, they're too beat up for them to collect poles today. Um, anyway, we're on our way back and we're in that same spot that we got stuck. There's some guys here filling the area with stones and sticks so that people can go through, but our driver isn't gonna wait. He's just gonna go through. So I'm gonna go on the other side and film it and see what happens. Also, I stepped in mud. We'll never hear the end. 
end of this one.